Hello, traders out there in Traderland. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade. This is the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, June 5th, 2011. And what a turbulent week we've been in, gang. On Friday, we end the markets with the Dow down uh, almost 100 points. Just big, big drop, especially here in small caps. Big drop. However, the VIX did not spike higher. We did start off the day with the VIX high, but not now. And anyway, the uh, for the most part, the banks were stronger than the other indices also. So we did see some relative strength going in, closing out uh, the week. So here we, here we are looking at the S&P daily. Oh, and before I get into this, I, I'm going to be doing a free online class on Monday. All you need to do is come and hang out with me. I'll be teaching you candlestick reversal patterns. Very powerful. You do not want to miss this one. It's um, a it's a foundational basis that you need to have in technical analysis and charting. All right. The all you have to do to get signed up, click on calendar on the website and get signed up on June sixth. All right. We broke down. On the S&P daily below a major support line support 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 we closed below that we closed right at 1300 1300 is a key area we found that to be a support level the question is will we bounce from there anybody's guess I hedged myself going into the weekend I've been hedged several days now so because it is Whew, it's too choppy for me to be long, certainly, and too early to be a bear. So being hedged or flat in the market is a good place to be. All right, so I'm going to bring in the weekly chart. And the weekly chart here, I know there's a lot of lines, bear with me. But we come up, 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 rising wedge. We break down, and you know we're right here at 1,300. 1,300, and... We, we're just rolling over. You can see this rolling over that's taking place. No good at all for the markets. And here's the monthly. Now, this is the thing I'm really concerned with on the monthly chart. Let me get rid of a couple lines here. We have made a lower low. We have a lower high, lower low already. This is the first candlestick. This is, I mean, starting off June here, gang. This is the first candlestick uh, that will be the start of a down leg. If you're going to get a down leg, it has to start with a candlestick that gives us a lower high and a lower low. That's precisely what we have. So we could be in for a turbulent summer, and it's, it's happening before our very eyes. I was talking about it back here a couple months ago. I really started talking about it last month here in May, and now it's starting to come to fruition now. So it's something you want to keep an eye on. And let's look at the NASDAQ. The Dow looks just like the S&P, so I'm not going to mess with the Dow. But the NASDAQ, if you look at this, um, we came up rising a wedge. We broke down earlier, come down, 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 down. We try to rally back, but we come crashing back down, making this new low. Gang, we went into what looked to be a bull flag breakout, but it was a fake out. It just comes crashing back down below all major moving averages. That is no good. We came up, tested the zero line on the histogram, and now we're heading due south. The weekly chart just looks ugly. Rising wedge, we broke down below it, and now boom, really breaking down. And we do have some support coming up, 2690 area. That'd be something to watch, 2700 area. But um, things just look like we're heading heading south. And then we have our monthly. The monthly here on the NASDAQ is showing us lower high, lower low. Wow. Last time we had this was a few months ago, lower high, lower low, but we rallied back strong, continuing north. Normally, when you start that lower high, lower low, it's, it's the start. There's your pivot. Now you're ready for a down leg to ensue. And small caps, Russell's here, is... We're at a support line. We had a falling wedge breakout. Nice. We can pu -pu -pu, retrace all of, at a support level, at a support level with the trend line. Two major support levels. The question is, will it hold? We're down below the zero line. If I look at the Russell's weekly, 
rising wedge, break down, then boom, out of big support area, coming across that swing high, 808. That's precisely where we stopped, not by accident. And then we have our monthly. Monthly on the Russells. And you know what? I need to bring this down a little bit. And open it up. Shrink it. All right, there we are. Lower high equal low. We are above the MACD histogram line, not below it. So small caps are showing relative strength right now compared to the others. We will be watching that like a hawk. Because after all, employment uh, unemployment rate right now is 9.1. We have jobless claims increasing. We have the GDP only at 1.8. The economy is weak. It is weak, it is weak, it is weak. And uh, I do stand corrected. I made mention that uh, the QE2 had come to an end starting June. Nope, it goes until the end of June. So even with the QE2 still in effect, we're still seeing these major down drafts. So there it is. Hey, pass this to a friend. Take this video, share the link with a friend so they know what to expect and know what these charts are telling us. Very important they do so. Furthermore, do not miss out on Monday night. If you can't make Monday night, just get registered because anybody that gets registered will get a link um, to a recording of it. So there you have it. Take care. Safe trading to you.